Not only is she having an affair with him, but then he finds out that she's pregnant with the guy. The best friend. The best friend. And on top of everything, the guy's been using his pension fund to pay the mortgage, and he only gets away with it because he's a union delegate. The guy with the wife's house. The guy with the wife's house. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, I'm sorry, your story's confusing. We're talking about two guys. We're talking about a good guy and a bad guy. Good, bad, there's only two guys. So now the good guy, he's confronting his wife, the wife is hysterical crying, he wants to confront the bad guy about this. So he comes down the steps, storms out of the house, he runs across the street, never looks for the cars, and what happens? There's this big tractor trailer driving down the street, has to swerve out of the way, misses him, loses control, takes out the fence of the bad guy's house, and while the bad guy's sitting there having spaghetti meatballs in his kitchen, this tractor trailer goes right through the fucking house, splashes him all over the house, dead right on the spot. So the mortgage was for the house with the kitchen. As we walk along this beautiful pool to get to the boathouse, I see this man sitting in a bathrobe at the end of the pool with a big cigar hanging out of his mouth and a fishing pole in his hand waiting for the catch. As we get closer, I recognize who we're walking to. He was a bit older, looked a bit confused, but happy. And he had this big smile on his face. My father walked over to him and gave him a kiss on the cheek. And then later, I was introduced as my father's son. And that's when I walked in and shook hands with none other than Al Capone himself right there and then. You mean to tell me you met Al Capone? He was right there. What'd he say? He yelled out across the pool the same thing twice. What? He said, don't waste the rest of your life looking. He said it twice. But the funny thing was, the whole time he had his fishing pole in the swimming pool looking for fish. You know, doing that heist last night brought back a lot of memories. Really? Remember the first truck you and I did years ago? My long do I remember. You know, it was so long ago I actually had hair back then. Oh, you had a thick head of hair. <laughs> yeah, I had some. I had some. But it also brought back a lot of sentiment, too. You know, you and me, Tony, we go back a lot of years. And I love you. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. You know that. Of course I do. And you would do the same thing for me, too, right? You know I would. I know that. I know that. Hey, Lou. I gotta go. All right, well, let's take the gift I got for you in the back. I gotta climb up here. I'm getting old. Come on. Tony, you're never getting old. You're strong like a bull. Come on. It's a little gift. It's in the box in the back. Uh, you're gonna make me climb up here? Okay, there's a little something for me. All us. right. Uh, there's nothing here. No, no, it's in the back. It's empty.